is Lee Merrick, a civil, civil rights, excuse me, and trial attorney. He's also co-counsel representing the family of George Floyd. He also represented dozens of protesters who were arrested during demonstrations for Breonna Taylor. Lee, thanks for being back with us tonight. We certainly appreciate it. Thank you for having me back. What is your sense of what happened today in Elizabeth City in terms of how this video uh, is being released? 20 seconds, the family says uh, it saw uh, they have to go to court to get the full unredacted version released. How typical or atypical is this in terms of how authorities release a video in a case like this? And will we eventually see the full thing? Well, I think we're entering into a new era of police accountability. And so in this relatively new era, people are, are, be, are starting to expect videos to be released in totality to their attorneys, to the public, and in, in, in consistency with the transparency um, commitments that a lot of local uh, officials have made. How, how, however, what you see happening there in Elizabeth is the exact opposite. You have uh, very limited information. You have uh, the video being obscured and tampered with before being turned over. And I think it's really going to upset a lot of people on the ground.